Welcome to Gray Overload, and I have a U7 Outdoor, which I like a lot. Well, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this. Well, this, you may think, oh, no, oh, it's brand new. You just got it. No, I'm not going to do any speed tests or anything because the one I have had is outside. This is a replacement, and as you see, I already put the antennas on it, and you can see back here the antennas unscrew because if you want to, you can take it without the antennas, and it's got some rubber grommets. And the rubber brought grommets go in and it protect it from the weather if you want to use the internal antenna so there's an internal antenna and then there's these external ones if you want more of a 360 look so let me put this on quick and you can see the back there as it comes down it'll squish down and you know it's tight and then it's sealed because there's rubber inside of there that squeezes to the antenna probably hoping to you know not get water and stuff in there and break and then the backside, hopefully, it'll drain out of. It's been wet and cold here, and I think that may be one of the reasons why my U6 mesh died. Now, this is a new one, still got it works now because it's a, it's a replacement. Failed, what was it, three weeks before the warranty was over? So, got that in. But this is, oh, come on. So, you can kind of see maybe the, um, the differences in it. So, if you have the, uh, it's not going to autofocus, is it? Well, if you look at my, <laughs> I should I should post this better. But if you have the antennas, it's 360. Oh, maybe I should put it right side up. If you don't have the antennas, it is directional. So it's pretty cool that you have this ability with this device. I really like this U7 device just for that. Now it is a little bit more power hungry than the U6 mesh. This is, you know, PoE plus plus at 19 watts or poe plus versus poe my bad but it's uh six watts more energy on this guy than the u6 mesh so you also have a little bit stronger antennas on this guy i believe uh well st stronger internal antennas external antennas you know you got the four dbi versus three and so that that's your antenna gain on there and then this has got some more speed to being a Wi-Fi 7. Now, it is only a Wi-Fi 7 in the 5 and the 2.4 gigahertz. It does not have a 6 gigahertz band on this. If you're looking for that, you need the Outdoor Pro. I don't know if that's out yet, but it is an extra $100, so hence why I'm just sticking with this guy because <laughs> I'm not spending that extra money. This is also better IP6 or... IP6, better weather ratings. It's IPX6 versus IPX5 on this one. So maybe this is why it was, uh, we had a lot of rain, a lot of freezing rain, a lot of snow, and then it died. So I'm going to something else. It's got a, you know, you got a little bit heavier metal backing here for getting rid of that heat. And then it's a 2.5 gig NIC on here as well. And those are kind of the specs rundown if you're curious about them, right? 2x2 two two there, and uh, max transmit power is 26 dBm for the 5 gigahertz and 23 for the 2.4 gigahertz. So you, you kind of um, see that a little bit difference there. So, yeah, the, overall, if you're looking for an outdoor um, uh, AP, highly recommend this one. I think that the little bit better weatherproofing is a bonus and if that's something that you're concerned about, definitely, you know, definitely take a look at it cuz that that's one thing that concerned me, right? And made me want to go, you know what? I I need to make sure I get better weatherproofing, right? For this area, right? I have one on the garage that is pointed down to well, I have a shed down the property a little bit. And then this will now replace the U6 mesh that I had. And it's all powered by solar and batteries, et cetera. So I can keep it powered in that remote location without running a line down there, which who knows? Maybe one day I still run a line, but right now it's not necessary. So, I, you know, I've been having, you know, getting that up. I'll put this up hopefully today, tomorrow, or sometime like that, just so that I can see how it performs and 
you know, get it all, well, get that back up because the shed then has a couple more cameras. So the, right now the setup is, is my, my garage and then on my shed was the U6 mesh that then died and now it's here. I haven't put it back yet and that's because this is going to replace it. So this then uplinks to that will be the other U7 outdoor, which is outdoor. And then from there, it will it transmits all the cameras that are around the shed. And I have two cameras on there right now, the G5 Pro, and then I have a G4 Instant. I need some more cameras out there. And as I'm, I'm just trying to walk Wi-Fi down my property, and so I have Wi-Fi coverage when I'm out. I have cameras there watching things. I, I like to, you know, like to see the nature that's out there. That's why I bought this property is to see some of the nature as well as, you know, be fun to, my, my wife likes it to watch the kids when they're out playing. So if these cameras are all there, we're going to probably mount some to the swing set someday and put some more Wi-Fi on the swing set because, you know, why not? Swing sets further down the property, right? So it's just kind of walking it down and getting all the property covered. I have a longer property, but, you know, want to be able to, my wife wants to be able to be able to stay inside and keep tabs on the kids if need be, if she wants to get something done inside. So that's how I kind of am approaching this. And this device, this U7 Pro, has been excellent at being able to help out get that accomplished. So I hope that, you know, Ubiquity keeps up their, you know, it seems like they're really releasing a good portfolio here recently. They have their E7s. They have the, the new... Um, they have some new APs that I would like to try their new um, design look, which look, I like them. I think that I like to get a couple to try. We'll see. They're, you know, they're not cheap. Nothing's cheap anymore, but they're not cheap. But, you know, if you're going with outdoor, you don't need the Wi-Fi 6 and you just need 5 gigahertz and 2.4. Here you go. It's a great little device. It's the U7 Outdoor 199 here in the United States and you can then have some access and if you put the antennas on you get 360 you want directional you take them off you can set that in the software um, to be able to know which one you want to use and they do a pretty good job overall i've been impressed with it now it's two it's 2.6 pounds versus you know 14 ounces so <laughs> you know depending upon where you are you might want something a little bit different and i think i've done an unboxing of this but it does you know come with you know, nice little, be able to tighten to a pole, right? You have your cables here. I'm blanking on the name of them. It has, you know, your back plates if you want to, you know, get this right. Now, I probably, I won't use this because I'm not going through a wall or anything. I'm just going to use this because I am coming up a post. So I have to kind of do something a little bit different, which is going to be using this. But... Overall, you know, what it does and how it performs is really kind of cool because it's done a lot of, or it's had, you know, has some good speed. A connecting to the U6 mesh, which is the eliminate factor because that's Wi-Fi 6 versus Wi-Fi 7. It's connecting at 2 gigabits per second transfer rate to keep those cameras up and running. And I think if that's something that you're looking for, something, you know, outdoors, you know, usually isn't the... For me, it's not that I need it to be the most performant. I just need it to perform and to be able to do the tasks that I want. And this has been a great device for that. I mean, the U6 mesh was, but until it died. So I'm hoping that with a little bit of weatherproofing here and stuff will get a little bit better. But if it breaks, you'll, you'll be one of the first to know because I'm going to do a video about it. Just like this one broke. You have it in this video of a dying U6 mesh gets you an upgrade to a U7 if you spend the extra $200. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least I got a replacement that works. I'll put it to use. Probably throw it on the swing set as Wi-Fi, put a little solar set up there too. So I do have to go through the solar setup with you guys in one of these videos, maybe once it warms up here. I mean, we're getting an inch of rain within the last 24 hours, so... We'll see. It's supposed to stop here soon, so I might go throw this up in between the sprinkles just to see before it you know, downpours again. But, uh, yeah, if you got questions about this, this is just my thoughts on this. I wish I had some speed testing stuff, but I have not been wanting to go brave it out in the cold or into the uh, wetness here <laughs> the last couple months to be able to get it done. So, 
If you want the speed test, let me know. I'll be doing some, hopefully, some more Ubiquity videos. Even want to go through some of the stuff that they just released, even though I probably won't be buying it. But they got some really cool stuff coming out. The Superlink, the uh, AI link that they stuff. It's you know really kind of cool. I like what they're doing over there. I've been impressed lately. I, I know when we fir I first started getting on Ubiquity with the UDM Pro, I had some questions about software and they seem to be really picking it up even with the software right now the firmware 8 has been pretty rock solid for what i've done so far i haven't been able to fully test it since this guy died right so again it's cold outside i don't want to be staying outside all the time so that's how that's how i'm kind of thinking about this but i thank you so much for watching great overload and helping this channel grow leave your questions and comments below be sure to read them and thank you so much don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon, watch all my videos. All that really does help out the channel. Until next time, God bless.